Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti, working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we will start with Project Portfolio Management in Oracle Fusion. So what is Project Portfolio Management? Oracle Project Portfolio Management Cloud is a complete and integrated solution which dramatically improves the way project-driven organizations work. It enables efficient and effective project management while ensuring smarter business decision based on a single source of project growth. So there are two offerings that you have to enable to perform the project portfolio management related tasks. One is project financial management and the other one is project execution management. In the project financial management offering, it includes project control, project costing, project billing, project contracts, and project performance reporting. And in the project execution management offering includes project management, task management, project resource management. So enterprise project portfolio management applications that work as well are the project management, project resource management, Billing and Revenue, Cost Control, Task Management, Analytics and Insight, Budgets and Forecast. So we will take an overview of these. So what does project management do? Intuitive, collaborative, project planning and scheduling. In the project resource management, it manages the powerful search, aligns the right resource to the manage and write projects, modern and integrated project resource management, grants management. It proactively manage awards from funding to close out. It control cost and prevent overspending. Next is billing and revenue. So it manages the bill for both capital and contract project cost. Cost control. It helps in controlling the cost that you incur. It simplified streamlined project costing, control resources and cost facilitate early corrective action. The next is task management. In the task management, it manage your work socially. Control project and non-project task at one place. It extend project management to team members. So with that, all the team members are aware of what's going in the project. Next is analytics and insight. In the analytics and insight, it handles the project performance reporting and alerts to exception. Next is budget and forecast. In the budgets and forecast, it simplifies project planning, budgeting and forecasting. Now, these are the roles that you have to provide to the user to perform the project portfolio management related tasks. So these are the initial roles that you have to provide to the user. In the coming videos, I will share with you the other tasks that are required to perform the other task. Now, these are the roles that you have to provide to the user initially. First one is IT security manager. Then it is application implementation consultant, then application implementation manager, then project manager. And after providing these roles, you have to run the LDAP job in these scheduled processes. Also, you have to provide the offerings in the project portfolio management. First one is project financial management and second one is project execution management. Now we will move to our application to see how we can provide the roles to the user and how we can enable the offerings in the application. So this is our application. Now go to Navigator. Then go to Tools here. And the tools you have to go to Security Console. Here you can see the tab Users. Click on it. I will type the username, search for it. So this is the user, click on it. 
क्लिक ऑन एडिट You can see here the IT security manager role and the application implementation consultant role has already been provided to this user. We will add two more roles. So click on this add role tab. Search for project manager. You can see the role here with the code ORA that is Oracle. Now click on add role membership. Now add application consultant manager. So there is some issue in the practice instance. It is not showing this role. Now click on save and close. To see the privileges of these roles, you can see, click done here and now go to roles. From here, you can see the privileges that comes with every role. Type the role name here. Say I want to see the privileges of project manager role. Click on it. You can see the description here. These are the privileges that comes with this project manager role. These are the tasks that a user can perform with uh, this role. In the same way, you can uh, see the privileges of other roles. Now, go to setup and maintenance. Go to navigator here. So you provided the roles. Now you have to run the LDAP job in the schedule processes. So for that, you have to go to tools and then go to schedule processes. Click on schedule new process. Now search for LDAP here. Click on this retrieve latest LDAP changes. It will synchronize with the changes that you have made in the instance. Now click on submit. Click on OK. You have to refresh this page. So it is showing the status as blocked. It must have a run few minutes before. You can see here, it is still in running process. That's why the request that we have submitted has showing the status as blocked because it has already been running. So it will accept the changes that we have made. So wait for it till the status will get converted into succeeded. So move to our next task. Now go to setup and maintenance. Here you have to enable the offerings. Go to task list. Now go to manage implementation project. Here go to your project on which you are working.
you can see here the offerings are already enabled but for practice purpose i will show you how to enable the offering you have to click on this add icon and from here you have to search the offering that you want to enable you can see here you have to select the offering then you have to click on apply you can see uh, the error task list or task project execution management already exists in the fin implementation project that means the this enabling is already enabled but for your practice purpose i have shown you how to enable this uh, offering so from here you can enable the offering now click on done click on ok again click on done so these were the basic understanding of ppm module thank you so much for watching the video